Well, you know, I thought he did his job. Um, you know, he was dominating. That's really that's as good as I've seen him. And you know, we're so good late in the bullpen, turning over those guys instead of sending them back out there. He gets a little jam. You know, so he he did his job, and I and I got all the confidence we're on those other guys. You know, now basically he was telling me, hey, I feel great. Whatever you want to do. You know. Now, would you guys have asked that question if you hadn't seen that on TV? I saw it on TV in the high def. Didn't did me no favors. <laughs> to be honest with you. John, how how big of a performance was that from Grilly, given the fact that you you know the game was still on the line there, and then he. He gave up that triple, and then, you know, the guy's standing at third, and he got that strikeout. Well, you know, I really you can't say enough good things about what Grilly's done, you know, since he's, since he's been there. He's been pretty, uh, you know, maybe a couple games, I think he gave up a couple home runs. I mean, other than that, you know, it's been lights out. You know, same way with Ben Waugh. I think he's given up one run since he's been sit here. So, you know, without those two guys, I mean, we're not sitting where we're at, we're at right now. Uh, we're, you know, we're, we're probably planning for the offseason, if you know one of the truth. Um, so they, they've made they've made a huge difference down there, and uh, but like I said, going back to Stroh, that's as good as I've ever seen him. You know, I've seen a number of his starts. Uh, and it's late in the season; he's got to be tired. You know, he's throwing more innings than he ever has. Uh, and then, of course, you know, with with two outs, the big hit by Donaldson, Eddie getting on, and then you know, Hosey doing his thing. You know, I mean, Hosey's been known to do some dramatic things. So, yeah, so what I mean, it was a hell of a game. Just to follow up, the second, the last six or seven games. Grilly's been pretty lights out ever since he gave up four runs, and I guess it was in Baltimore. Or, anyway, were you worried at the time that maybe his age was catching up to him, but now he's back on a roll? No, you know what? Um, you know, I mean, he's not a spring chicken anymore, no doubt about it. But he's he's had a you know tremendous career in that in that tough role. You know, he's closed games, been set up guy, and in, in you know he's just not your run of, run of the mill reliever. And uh, I mean, it's it's hard for I mean, what really what those two have done here, him and Ben Wall, I'm speaking of is is to come over here and, and, and really to be everything be as clean as it's been, you know. Uh, even the best relievers give up something. And, you know, but really both those guys, and, you know, they, they've got some innings under their belt here too, you know. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's part of it. But, no, I mean, I've never doubted that. Uh, I mean, he's a very emotional guy. He thrives on emotion. That's a, that's a, a big benefit for him. And, and, you know, I mean, he gets worn down like anybody else. But he's one of those guys, he's been through it before, he finds, these guys find a way. Does that mean he's going to be perfect every time? You know, no, nobody nobody ever is. But he's a, he's been a huge, huge guy for this team. I think, he, I don't know, when, when we get him in June. But we're not here without him doing what he's doing. John, Batista has been getting on base for you guys consistently throughout, but over the last week or so, it seems like the power's really come back, not just the home runs, but the doubles too. Uh, is that kind of happening at the right time, and what can that do for the rest of your life? Yeah, I think so. You know, so uh, you know, I don't know what all the complaints have been. You know, but yeah, he's uh, looks like he's heating up at the right time. Like I said, you know, Jose's, you know, he's been known to do some things at, at, at key key spots. You know, and uh, you know, I was sitting there on the bench with Demarlo, and you know, I mentioned that to him. You know, the right guy, right time, basically. And uh, what do he do? So.